What's up, losers? It is I, your grumpy guide to all things gaming. My voice is a little better, but still not great. <clears throat> and I need a haircut. And it is time for the weekly gaming news brought to us by various web sources and computers and things that I don't understand. But it gives us a general update of what's going on in the world of our hobby today. And that's all I really care about is keeping you informed. Yeah. Scraggly voice. I sound like a smoke 12 packs a day. Okay, first and foremost, let's go over what is coming to an end this week in the mighty world of Kickstarter and crowdfunding. So, Age of Antiquity, an ancient world setting for 5e from Azurium Publishing, ends its Kickstarter on July 5th. Uh, so, if you want to do Ancient Rome or Ancient Greeks, for your D and D game, here it is. Let me not make shit like this. The book of beastly creatures, stories, RPG rules, and artwork from Hex Medica ends its Kickstarter on July 9th. Then again, it is a five e book of horror stories and um, new monsters for five e. So I like the idea that they're combining monsters with stories, but still don't need more monsters. For D&D. Dancing with Bullets Under a Neon Sign, a light cyberpunk RPG from Apollyon Inc. Uh, based on the Black Hack. Always nice to see people trying to bring back uh, cyberpunk. That ends its uh, Kickstarter on July 5th. The Crystal Corruption, an adventure in minis for D&D from Anima Games. Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition ends its Kickstarter on July 9th. And it came, it was 200 pages, and what, how did, uh, whatever. Uh, two Worms, Two Furious, a DCC RPG funnel and mini setting for Ar Orbital Intelligence. That ends its uh, Kickstarter on July 7th, That it is from Dungeon Crawl Classics. Always fun to see level zero adventures. The Doom of Northwood from Mac... Mac and Other Rocks and Zits on the 4th. It's another module for 5th edition, probably featuring a lich based upon the art cover. God, some new ideas would be nice. All right, what's going on in gaming news this week? Uh, a playtest is up for something called the Awfully Cheerful Engine, an action comedy RPG due to be released later this year. It's up on the EN Publishing website. Uh, S Spencer Stark has an interview up for the new RPG Alice is Missing, which is currently on Kickstarter. We talked about this one earlier. It's the RPG where you cannot talk during the game. You can only communicate with each other through texting and social media. Interesting. <laughs> uh, another interview is up from Stiffy Devan from Onyx Path about the cancelization of the Legend Lore Kickstarter, uh, which was supposed to come out in March, but they had to cancel it. So this was the RPG based upon the Legend Lore and Realm comic book, and it has been temporarily canceled. Uh, more stuff from Crucible 7's Warhammer Age of Sigmar is up over on their website. The pre-pitted miniatures for Dungeons and Dragons Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, the DD adventure, know what he asked for. Uh, the pictures and art were up on the Wiz Kids, including the 200 millimeter dragon, and of course the adorably acute Frost Owlbear. Uh, if you can grab that figure, it makes it all worthwhile. But just such a cute little white fluffy owlbear. Oh, so uh, pictures and um Previews of that are over at Wits Kids. Um, we continue our research of the plastic toy engines of D and D monsters uh, from Michael Tesca. How you know things like uh, Ultraman and Godzilla led to the births of such things like Umbra Hulks. Chris Perkins has released some new details about Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, and spills some of the things about what the adventures are about. So, sortly based upon, I guess, the thing and other uh, 
ideas of you know frosty punky horror -y adventures the adventure that none of us wanted but we're getting Icewind Dale which of course means drizzle and to keep following with their promise to no longer racial profile races in D&D, &D, starting with Frame of the Frost Maiden, uh, Kobolds will receive a new stat blocks and a new write-up, so they no longer are longer, no longer just inherently evil slave race for dragons, but now they can be whatever you want. Pazio had an adventure come out coming out called um, Agents of Edgewater, but they have felt Edgewatch, but they have either canceled it or at least they are releasing an apology before it because it is a crime city crime based adventure where the player characters are investigating city crime, murder, CSI, crack the crace type stuff. But because of the current political climate towards police, they have decided that a D and D adventure about uh, crime fighting could be triggering and upset someone so they want to apologize if anybody is in any way shape or form upset about the idea of heroes chasing bad guys in a city and using it as an excuse to live out police power whatever uh, another d demo of Baldur's Gate is up at the DoD live website uh, so uh, Another two hours of what you could expect from the game. That's up over there. Uh, new miniatures are coming out for Starfinder Battles Galactic Villains and Starfinder Battles Galactic Heroes. Each pack will feature a pack of six pre-painted minis. I like those because you can get to see what you get. Okay, now some bad news. PSI Incorporated, the Publisher Services Incorporated, which, who was one of the largest sales and fulfillment services companies in the United States for gaming products, have reduced their hobby game distributors down to just three. Ace, Alliance, and Peach Street remain in the list, while the rest will no longer be serviced by the company. So uh, that means uh, Asmodee, Wizards of the Coast, Crucible 7, Monty Cook Games, Castleless Games, Steve Jackson Games, and uh, Chessex and Q Workshops Hobby stores will now have to switch distribution in order to maintain stock and get new releases for some of the most of the largest RPG publishers or in the world because this company, who was at one time, is now not going to be able to do it, probably because they can't afford it. Uh, there's a new Humble Bumble going up right now. Uh, yes, I'm calling it Humble Bumble because uh, why not? Uh, for maps, campaign, cartography, city designers, dungeon designers... Burrow, stuff like that. Uh, it's up to $300 worth of product, so go check that out and support a nice uh, charity. Uh, da -da. And that's about it for this week. As always, Wizards of the Coast is continuing to post free product every day up on their um, COVID-19 website. And DM Dave is continuing to put out free product every day. Uh, on his Patreon, so if you're looking for some free D&D stuff, check out Wizards of the Coast COVID-19 or DM Dave. Until next time, I uh, appreciate your support of our page. Please subscribe if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, so we can reach 200 by August 4th, and I will talk to you losers later, and God, I need a haircut. Bye.